Osuna, it's, it's a great friend of mine. Uh, we were doing already 14 videos. So when he calls me and say, hey, I have a bomb. I have uh, this amazing song. I, I mean, you will not believe who's gonna be the fit. He gave me the song. I started listening I'm like, wow, you have a bomb in your hand. You know that, right? And he's like, hell yeah. <laughs> I have a very unique relationship with Ozuna. Ozuna trusts me, thank God trusts in, in the work we do. He only told me like, I only have one request. I'm like, okay, what? Have to be in Jamaica. Basically the concept of the video is this humble guy from Jamaica falls in love with this supermodel and he wants to date her. You can see both sides of the story, you know? When I listen to the song, I knew that it's gonna have this 90 feel and look. I come up with this idea of having this kind of like crazy type of text. I don't know why it reminds me a little bit of Saved by the Bell. You know, all these triangles and all that little stuff and, and the waves, all, all of it. At the beginning of the video, you can see actually this VHS effect. This effect evolves when you see actually Osuna doing a pose, but his looks like 4K resolution and the background's VHS effect. I remember watching a video in 2012 from Joey Badass and Chuck Strangers called From the Thumb. So what is like? I have this unique effect that you can see this person perfectly shot and everything around it was this VHS effect. And that stuck in my mind for so many years and I say, I want to do it, I want to do it. And suddenly I have this, this project and I say, this is a perfect opportunity to do it. It's rotoscope on every single frame of the video. It's really hard to do it. My post-production team work, I believe, like perhaps a three weeks straight, no sleeping, pure coffee and Red Bull. <laughs> I didn't want to stop there. I didn't want to actually be the only different thing on the video. I wanted to have small moments on the video that you can separate the person or the object on the, in the image and do this echo rastafari. Like you can see this image have this kind of like VHS effect and also the colors of the Jamaican traditional cultural colors. We call it the echo rastafari. <laughs> that was what the team, the post-production team called it. I remember watching a video of No Doubt called Underneath It All. They have these guys riding a bike and suddenly this image of them multiplies. This is like a, a small tribute to that. I have a lot of story in this shot because First of all, we were never supposed to shoot in here. The day before I was, you know, looking around the place I want to shoot and between one place and another, we passed through here. And I love this place. I love it. It's very real, you know, it's real people out there with real traffic. Talks a lot about Ozuna that, that is not this kind of like cocky artist. He likes to be around people. He likes to be around his fans or around people who enjoy his music. We were in control of the situation until this moment when this guy, he runs like right the corner and almost hit Osuna and this cop saved his life and, and he's like, no way! And he stops the car and gets a ticket. <laughs> he got the ticket. Everybody starts screaming like, be careful Osuna! And he turns around and I cut right there <laughs> on the video clip. I have a moment when I was writing this project and it's seen from Beautiful, from Snoop Dogg and Pharrell. I love one of the moments that Snoop Dogg is playing around with a girl in a bed. And I thought it was very simple, very elegant, very neat. And I wanted to actually give him a small tribute to that moment too. We had to shoot it three times and only the third one worked. It was funny because it was like, <laughs> Osuna here and Cardi B here. <laughs> and Cardi B here. So it didn't work, like the space between them didn't sell the song. So every time they were getting closer, they were getting closer, they were getting closer, they were getting closer, until this, this particular shot. And that was perfect. I knew from the beginning that we have to end this video on a party, on a big Jamaican colorful party. I always wanted to do a, um, like a party on a ruins, on an a, a abandoned place. The original way to do it it was to have Osuna on Cardi B walking on this part, meeting each other in the middle, 
and suddenly Osuna have this flashlight gun and phew, start shooting to the sky. And I ask Osuna if he can hold it and he's like, hey, you remember what happened with Michael Jackson? He burned his hair. I don't want it to happen to me. Part of me was right behind me, listening, and she's like, heck, I do it. I'm like, are you gonna do it? Yeah, why not, let's do it. Okay, I want to go home and sleep. <laughs> it was really late. So our PA turn around, runs, give it to her, and it was three, two, one, you know, dolly back. And we went all the way back, and then we cut to black, and I wanted to thank the people in Jamaica for everything they did for us on this beautiful moment that we shot the video. And I love it. It was, I think, the perfect way to say goodbye or farewell to the people in Jamaica that helped us. It was a really fun experience to work with her. I mean, she's an amazing singer, amazing woman, very humble. And those guys together were a perfect combination, match of heaven. It's been five great years doing a lot of stuff, starting in Venezuela and right here in North America, trying to actually do new projects with North American artists. It's a blast. I'm having a, the best moment of my life now. She has some big balls. She only told me that she don't want to light it up because she's afraid that the melting is gonna ruin her dress. You're more concerned about your dress than yourself. And she's like, yeah, you know, how much is this? <laughs> I'm like, okay.